Well, if you love keeping your lawn looking like a golf green, you may have to work a little harder on it. The Nanaimo City Council votes tonight on a new bylaw which would ban pesticides. But some people say the bylaw doesn't go far enough. Hey, News Mid Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has the story. He joins us live in our Nanaimo newsroom. Jonathan. Hudson, the Can Canadian Cancer Society says the new bylaw, while a step in the right direction, does not ban pesticides outright and therefore doesn't have the teeth it should to keep people safe from cancer causing chemicals. For 14 years now, Lauren Bowers has been making sure the grassy medians around Woodgrove Center are well kept. And that doesn't include the use of pesticides. None whatsoever. Every morning there's groups of old folks that walk around here and it would just, they just, it wouldn't be good. Not that he's in favor of a complete ban, but he does believe pesticides should only be used by licensed pros. I don't think they should be banned. I think you should be licensed to use them. You should know, I mean, any homeowner should not be able to go and buy a pesticide and spray it around all over the place. Nanaimo City Council is moving towards a bylaw that would do just that, ban the cosmetic or non-essential use of pesticides on public and private land. You get really diverse opinions. Some people are absolutely against it, and other people say it's an infringement on my right. I should be able to grow a greener lawn if I want. But the bylaw, as it stands, could have an exemption, something that council will have to debate. You get into an area where, where companies may be legally allowed to sell a certain pesticide, um, but uh, then if you have a situation where it's banned by the municipality, that creates some challenges. The Canadian Cancer Society would like to see a stronger bylaw passed. The International Agency for Research on, ca on Cancer has um, provided evidence that um, there has been a link to pesticides and cancer. Um, we're particularly concerned about children. The Canadian Cancer Society would like to see a bylaw that does not exempt licensed applicators to use pesticides on public or private land. We don't want to see pesticides used as a last resort for cosmetic purposes. And the, the municipal bylaw is only addressing what they consider to be non-essential or cosmetic pesticides. So they shouldn't be used at all. I can't uh, prejudge how council will decide on these things. And obviously there's going to be several presentations, probably quite a number made uh, from the public uh, on um, what they see uh, as a solution. Uh, and then council will make that decision. Our grass expert says a non-pesticide lawn is possible. It just takes a bit more work. Just stay on top of your maintenance and pull your weeds and cut your grass and you can keep everything pretty that way. If the bylaw is passed tonight with no exemptions for licensed applicators, Nanaimo would be joining the municipalities of Courtney and Comox, who adopted similar bylaws in 2008. Hudson? All right. Jonathan Bartlett, thank you. You're welcome.